Singapore and the United States have taken a groundbreaking step forward in addressing global climate and energy needs with the signing of a historic agreement known as the 123 Agreement on July 31. This significant development was formalized by Singapore's Foreign Affairs Minister Vivian Bolakrishnan and U.S. Secretary of State Anthony Blinken during Blinken's official visit to Singapore. This move marks a deepening of nuclear cooperation between the two nations, strengthening an already robust partnership. However, despite this monumental agreement, Singapore has not yet made a final decision regarding the deployment of nuclear energy. The 123 Agreement is designed to facilitate Singapore's collaboration with other countries that use nuclear energy technologies incorporating components or intellectual property of U.S. origin. Expected to come into force by the end of 2024, this agreement will have a lifespan of 30 years, providing Singapore with access to advanced nuclear technologies and expertise. But it's important to note that any decision to deploy nuclear energy in Singapore will require detailed studies to ensure its safety, reliability, affordability, and environmental sustainability, all within the context of Singapore's unique needs and circumstances. During the signing ceremony, Dr. Bolakrishnan emphasized the critical importance of nuclear nonproliferation, underscoring the necessity of ensuring that nuclear technology is used solely for peaceful purposes. He acknowledged that while current conventional nuclear technologies may not be suitable for Singapore, staying informed about advancements in civil nuclear technology is crucial. The agreement with the US will provide Singapore with vital access to information and technological expertise, allowing the country to stay at the forefront of nuclear advancements. As Singapore continues to explore its energy options, nuclear power has emerged as a potential green energy source, especially as the country strives to achieve its net zero emissions target by 2050. A 2022 report commissioned by the Energy Market Authority suggested that nuclear energy could potentially supply about 10% of Singapore's energy needs by mid-century. However, no definitive decisions have been made regarding the adoption of nuclear power in Singapore. Second Minister for Trade and Industry Tan C. Leng highlighted Singapore's plans to develop a pool of approximately 100 nuclear energy experts over the medium to long term. He pointed out that recent technological advancements, particularly in small modular reactors, have made it possible for Singapore to study whether newer developments could enable the country to become more energy self-sufficient. Dr. Tan also emphasized Singapore's unwavering commitment to its decarbonization goals, which aim to achieve net zero emissions by 2050. He made it clear that while clean nuclear energy is a potential option, no final decision has been made regarding its future use in Singapore. This agreement with the US aligns with broader initiatives, such as the US Foundational Infrastructure for the Responsible Use of Small Modular Reactor Technology, FIRST, a program. This program is designed to support partner countries in building capabilities to understand and potentially implement small modular reactors and other advanced nuclear technologies. Through the FIRST program, Singapore will gain access to a network of US entities involved in civilian nuclear energy, including the U.S. national laboratories and companies at the cutting edge of nuclear technology development. These initiatives will significantly strengthen Singapore's civil nuclear cooperation with the U.S., providing the country with the knowledge and resources needed to evaluate the role of advanced nuclear energy technologies in achieving its climate goals while maintaining energy security. What do you think about Singapore's approach to nuclear energy? Do you believe this agreement will lead to the eventual adoption of nuclear power in Singapore? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. And if you found this coverage informative, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to 2230 for more detailed news coverage. Answer to the questions.